Hey y'all, so today we're taking it back to the basics. The four questions every business owner asks. Well, number one is... Who am I targeting? Who am I targeting? Yeah, so the most important thing is how can you even start marketing unless you, you have an idea of what your audience is, whether it's reaching that audience on Facebook, whether it's sending direct mail, whether it's uh, compiling a list. You have to have, um, you know, you, you have to know who your audience is and I think every business wakes up and it's like, who are the, the right people, right? So it's not just, you know, it's, it's, they're trying to get as granular as possible. And it's kind of, it never ends, right? You're always trying to improve. You're always learning things. Uh, and so, yeah, I think that's number one is who, who do I, who am I targeting with this message? Right. And I think that who, who you're targeting is perhaps one of the most important ones because, you know, whether it's creating content or whatever it is that you're trying to do with your marketing efforts, it's easier to speak to one person than it is a whole audience of people. Right. If you don't know who you're targeting, how are you expecting to get any customers? And you might think you know who you're targeting, but it might be too broad. Might right? Be we want to get as specific as possible. As specific. Yeah, that's, that's what you're all, you start at a certain point, and then you should be learning as you go. You know, there's tactics, you start to learn the likes and dislikes. You might start out with a big ocean but this should continually, you're always asking yourself this every day, every week, every month. Hey, what, what are we seeing in our data? What type of people has our demographic changed? Has our, you know, the age of our customer changed? Uh, has their likes and dislikes? Are they talking about other things on social media? So it's a never ending process because, you know, for every business, it's all about how much, how much money are you going to make on a transaction and how much money does it cost you to get one of those transactions? So you should be always trying to refine this. It never, until you close your business or sell it, there, this never ends if you're doing it the right way, because then the more crystal clear you can get, then the better off you're going to be. So yeah, who are you going to target? And then how are you going to continue to refine that is definitely number one. Right. And number two, what do I say? I feel like this is one of the biggest questions business owners big time, have. Big time. What do I say? Big time. Yeah, because think about it like this. You know, your marketing should be, uh, you know, a salesperson in, in you know, in a, a postcard or in an email, you know, and what does a salespeople, a salesperson do? They're telling a customer what, what their product is, how it's valuable, what makes it unique, uh, what the offer is, and then more importantly, what can you, what do you need to do as a customer in order to take advantage of that offer or take advantage of that promotion you're doing, right? And the way you do that is by saying, hey, I want, if let's say the objective is a phone call, Shannon, you know, to take advantage of this offer, call this phone number, right? You're telling the person what to do. You can't expect that they're going to know what to do on their own. And that's just the way marketing works. People do what they're instructed to do. So if you instruct them to do something to take advantage of this thing, then that's what they're going to do. So be very clear and concise with your call to action. Yes. And I complete, that is one of the most important things, including a call to action on everything, everything. right? I mean, I, people don't want to be redundant, like subscribe here or go to our website or fill this out. But you really do need to tell your audience what to do. What to do. Yeah. And let, listen, you know, in the beginning, you want, them to, you want them to do a lot of things. You want them to subscribe to an email list. You want them to, to like you on Facebook, follow you on Twitter, you know, on Instagram. And so, you know, you're going to have all of that stuff weaved into this. That way you're building all of those other channels while you're, build, while you're marketing and doing that stuff, right? Because that's, you know, ultimately you're trying to build an audience. You get that audience built in your social channels. That doesn't cost money to communicate with them. Now you're making things more efficient. Right, and you can do it strategically, you know, to where it doesn't feel like you're commanding them to do something. Exactly. Yeah, so. listen, so a description of your product, what the value proposition is, and then how somebody can take advantage of it with very clear instructions with a call to action that tells them what you want them to do in order for it to be a win for your business. And number three. How, how do I, I reach them? How, how, do I, how do I reach these people, right? So you got your data. Yeah. It's good. You got your message. It's good. Okay, how do I reach them? Some of that's going to depend on budget. Some of it's going to depend on, you know, just there's a right medium for, uh, for certain products and services. And so, you know, a lot, a good exercise I like to go through is, you know, going through that math equation of here's, here's what it's going to cost. Here's, here's how much money I'm going to make on a transaction. And here's how much money I can afford to spend. And here's my budget. And, you know, sometimes because direct mail has a, 
a, a printing and postage and all that stuff cost. It would be a good tactic, but based on the budget, it just doesn't work. So sometimes you have to start with things like digital marketing because it allows you to test very inexpensively, f fail, succeed, fail, succeed, understand what message works. And now you take that message and you can put it into a direct mail campaign where it's going to be a little bit more sure uh, the buck. So yeah, tactics in the strategy and the channels that you use, it's really going to depend on your business somewhat. Uh, your industry, your yeah. industry, the best way to reach them. And, and sometimes it's the economics of what a transaction is, you know, but you just have to, that's, it's important because you have to go reach these people somewhere, right? So if one doesn't work, that means two or three or four other ones are going to work. And number four, I feel like it's honestly the most forgotten about one, but it's also really important. How do I measure success? Yeah. And, you know, in our platform, visibility, you're driving a car, right? You're driving this business. If you were blindfolded driving your car, you'd run off the road, right? And so having marketing without having visibility and feedback in real time on how that marketing's doing, you're kind of driving the car blindfolded, right? So what we believe in, in our, we give people visibility into everything, whether it's your mail being tracked through the postal service. So you can see that if you want to, uh, the, every open and click on emails, every response to phone call, SMS, all of those interactions are being measured and reported in real time. So you have this visual of, Hey, here's the road I'm going down. Here's the dashboard. All this stuff looks, looks, I'm looking like I'm going in the right direction. The map is, is making sense to me. And when it doesn't, the numbers never lie, right? That's it. So the numbers always tell the story. You have to know what's working and what's not to reevaluate your marketing and improve it and make it better. How are you going to ever know? How are you going to, it's just like throwing money in the garbage can every month. Yeah. So yeah, what, in having that visibility allows you to correct the things very quickly and that, that are wrong and to build on the things that are, that are doing good and double down on those things. Right. So yeah, visibility, it's almost like, how can you, yeah, you, you have to have visibility into what's going on for you to make quick decisions. And it's more, it's more important than ever to small business. That's typically working with a smaller budget and you got to get to that good phase where you figure it out quickly. The only way that happens is with feedback. You want the most efficient way, the quickest way. That's right. The quickest and most efficient way for you to understand how much it's going to acquire, uh, take you to acquire a customer and then how much you have to spend, uh, you know, how much money you're going to make. That's the number one equation you have to get to. All right, guys. So let's recap. The four P's every business owner should be asking. Who am I targeting? What do I say? How do I reach them? And how do I measure my success? That's it.